Hey guys, I'm here to do another Oily Skin Diaries foundation review and today I'm going to be doing it on the Revlon Nearly Naked foundation. Um, I had not really planned on buying this foundation because I do have a good few, but my Revlon Colorstay Whipped foundation, the cover broke and I just emailed them and said I was like kind of disappointed and they sent me $20 in Revlon money. So I decided to pick up the foundation and the powder. I got the foundation in 260 Caramel, which one is, is one of the darkest shades, um, but I just got back from Cuba and my body is a lot darker. I did use a fairly high SPF on my face. It is darker, but I needed to blend in with the rest of my body and I got the powder in deep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into showing you the application and giving you my first impression thoughts and then I'm going to just kind of check in throughout the day and show you how it works. Um, one disclaimer, I will say that my skin isn't as oily as it used to be. I finished up Accutane so uh, my skin has, uh, I, I would say it's kind of like airing towards combination but it's definitely still um, oily so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on um, I will say though that the cover is really um, I don't know if I just have bad luck with Revlon covers but uh, it is really really tight so I'm not totally sure is that how it normally is it is a pretty uh, liquidy consistency so I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little bit closer and I'll show you how it applies So this is one layer of the foundation. I don't know if I said this before, but I don't have anything on my face, like no moisturizer or anything, so I really did want to get a true test of how it does react with my skin. Um, as you can see, it has pretty good coverage. I don't have like a ton of like active breakouts on my face, but I do have some uh, leftover redness and a bit of scarring. It does do a pretty good job of covering it. This is a great... Um, great, great match to my skin tone. Um, right now I would say I'm about like an NC 43 ish, um, but I really do like it. It isn't really dewy. It has a pretty natural finish. I'm going to just put on like a little tiny bit more because I did put on a good bit, but just a little bit more on my cheeks because I'm not going to put on a concealer. And then I'm going to just put on the rest of my makeup and show you how it works. I'm just going to put on also a um, small dusting of the powder that it comes with. I've heard really great things about this powder. Um, it doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it's just like a good setting powder. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I put the rest of my makeup on. I just put on a little bit of under eye concealer, um, a little bit of contour, blush, like a matte blush, and some lipstick, and I already had my eye makeup done. Um, and just a light dusting of the powder, and I just used a big fluffy powder brush, like I by no means packed it on or anything. And it doesn't have a matte finish. I would definitely say it is closer to a natural, leaning towards dewy, but I really do like the finish of it. Um, I love the way it makes my skin look. Um, I've heard a lot of people say it does have a really light coverage, but I would definitely say that this is medium coverage, especially if you wanted to put on a concealer. I didn't use a concealer. Um, but I also wanted to say it doesn't say it has any SPF in it, but it does in the ingredients say it does have titanium dioxide, which tends to be the ingredient that is in products that do have SPF. So I'm going to take a picture and show you how it turns out. Right now it is, um, 12... 12.32. So I will come back in a few hours and show you how it is holding up throughout the day. All right, so it's been about four hours since I applied it. It was just after 12 when I initially put it on and it is now uh, 4.27. So uh, as you can see, there's like little to no, there's a little bit of shine, but I think that might just be the lights. But like if I look at my face really close, uh, there's not much oil has come through at all. And um, I'm really, really happy with it. It hasn't oxidized. It's still the same color as when I put it on. Um, one thing I will say is it, it doesn't exactly like minimize pores, even though I know that's not something it said it was going to do. Um, but that is something to consider if you do have large pores, but that can easily be solved with a primer. And I'm just going to show you a picture of what it looks like with flash photography. It uh, dealt pretty well. There was no major um, white cast over my face or anything like that. So this seems like a foundation that you could wear out during the night. Um, but I'm going to give it a few more hours before I give you my final review. So I will check back then. 
Okay, so I've had the foundation on for about seven hours. It is now 7.47. I put it on just after 12 o'clock today and I'm getting ready to shower and go out. So I wanted to give you all my final thoughts on the foundation. There are a few things that I look for when I'm doing these oily skin reviews or just foundation reviews in general. The first thing is packaging and I do like the packaging. It's nice sleek packaging, um, but it doesn't have a pump, which is kind of a bummer. And I do find the lid on this is really hard to actually close and it doesn't seem super secure unless you do get it all the way around Around. so I don't know if it's just my bottle or if it's just the packaging in general um, the next thing I look for is the kind of wear time and longevity I think it's great like just looking at my face now um, it's still basically the same as it was before I put it on I didn't put on any uh, concealer underneath and there's not like really any redness coming through um, and if you do have any major issues, that's always something you can fix with concealer because I find it's better to conceal a little bit and then use a lighter foundation as opposed to like a really, really heavy foundation because then it can look cakey. Um, and then the next thing is price. I believe it's about 10, I think it was like 10.79 or something at Walmart, which is a fine price. It seems to be kind of like the going rate for foundations. And also a lot of drugstores and stuff always have sales. So keep an eye out for like your weekly sales and flyers. They all have online flyers. So if you're looking for deals, that's the best place to look. And the last item is the coverage. And I think it has really great coverage. It only claims a light to medium coverage. I definitely think it has that. It's definitely buildable. Um, if you don't have any really major skin issues, I think this is perfect for you. Um, I think this is great for dry to probably combination oily skin. If you have combination leaning towards oily, definitely use a powder. If you have dry skin, I think this would be fine for you as well. Um, my skin is, like I said, combination oily, but I don't feel like I'm overly oily and I'd rather have a little bit of shine as opposed to being completely matted out. So overall, I'm super happy with this product. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them below or any suggestions or requests for future foundation reviews. I'd be happy to do them and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.